Since there's been a lot of discussion on the forums about how to humanely euthanise a fish, um, unfortunately it's come to the point where I need to euthanise one of mine tonight and I'm preparing for it now. Um, some people um, feel as though vodka needs to be added. I don't believe so. Because I've sedated goldfish in order to make procedures, uh, I know that they can be comfortably put to sleep uh, with just the use of clove oil. This is the clove oil that we use here in Australia. And my tub that I'm going to use to euthanize my fish with, there is um, seven and a half litres, which is two gallons uh, US of water in this tub. And I'm going to be adding um, 15 drops of the clove oil to sedate my goldfish before I go ahead and euthanize him. So uh, now it's get fish time. I have my fish, I'm about to add him to the tub now. The tub itself is nothing but plain water, temperature matched to the tank that it came from. So now I'm going to add some prime to dechlorinate the water. Just make sure that's blended through. And I'm good to add Leon now. So here we go. Right. Leon is now in the tub. And we're ready to start mixing the clove oil. I'm going to use 15 drops of clove oil. went into in there but that's fine and now I need to add some really hot water to this and shake it around so that it can dissolve at this point when the water has been added it still looks very clear but once you start shaking it as it blends with the water it should begin to turn opaque which is what it's done. It looks like aspirin colour. I'm now going to add this solution to the water. And if you've followed my videos in the past, you'll know that this combination here is enough to sedate the fish, not to euthanise. So we're gently adding the clove oil. I haven't added it all yet, but I just want him to take it in gradually. Normally when you euthanise a fish, they are a lot sicker than this, so he's, um, he's still being a champ right to the end. It'll be difficult now to know when he's turned over because he's already turned over. Uh, so. Okay, I'm going to leave you now and I'll come back when Leon is actually asleep. Seven minutes have passed and Leon has been in the solution the whole time. I'm satisfied that he's asleep. This is when I would normally take him out uh, to do the procedure. As you can see, he's motionless except for his breathing. So he's heavily sedated right now um, and he has no knowledge of what, what's about to happen, which is what I consider to be humane. 
So um, I'm now going to move him into a smaller tub. You don't need to do this. This is my style of euthanizing my fish, but if you wanted to leave your fish in the tub which has the clove oil already in it, that is absolutely fine. You just leave them there for as long as you like, up to half an hour, and that's enough to do the job. But I would like it done quicker. So, I'll grab myself a smaller tub, and I catch my fish into the tub gently. set aside the larger tub. Here I will mix one teaspoon of clove oil is going to send Leon off to rest forever and this is how simple it is and how humane it is to use only clove oil no alcohol because from our understanding alcohol burns the gills and that must be a horrible death so I'm now I don't know if you can see this I'll just check if you can yes I'm now going to add the clove oil Mix it around a little bit. He's still with us. And I'm going to give him five minutes in the tub, which should be enough um, for all this to happen and for him to pass on. Rest in peace, sweetie.